Hi guys, welcome back to some more action with Accrington. We're in the January transfer window. There's a, a few quick things to tell you about. First of all, I've uh, gone through some contracts and seen who uh, is uh, coming up for their contracts need uh, renewing. And uh, I've not just looked at this season, I've looked at next season as well. We've got Little, Bauman, Velasco, Buxton and Kamalo, whose contracts are all up renewal. I have offered all those contracts. The two young guys, I've not offered them contracts yet. We'll see what happens with them. In terms of players leaving the club, at um, at the end of the last episode, I didn't read through these with you, but the Shane McCartan, Tom Aldred and Ahmed Fathy, who have all, um, the board have said, uh, they may want, they may uh, either play them or sell them. So, what I have done, Transfer listed is Bone, Fathi, Arisciata, Reha and Aldred. Um, Fathi, obviously, I think we can potentially find better out there, and I may have already done that in uh, in one or two players. Bone and uh, Reha, I was looking at the fact that we've got six keepers, and these two keepers leave on international breaks. So by selling them, we'll free up 5,000 in wages and hopefully 200,000 in transfer funds. So that's my three reason behind getting rid of those two. We've still got Jug and we still have um who do we have? We've got Maguire who is gonna be okay hopefully in the future. A is gonna to go out on loan, but we have Smith on loan as well. So we've got Jug and then if he leaves international duty we have Smith, because obviously we'll be playing Smith anyway, even if we had Bone as um as um, he would be going out on international duty, and so would Reha, so it makes sense to get rid of the pair of them. Arasciata is he's not really playing that many games, and if we can get we can get fifteen uh, fifteen percent off that, so you're talking we can get one hundred and thirty grand for him. It's it's more money to to go for after other players. Um, so yeah, we'd have to see what happens with those. Um, McCartan actually is one that now I think about it I do want to sell I think I think letting him go is is potentially a good thing looking at the fact that he's 60 rated he's the lowest of our strikers we've got Azogwe and uh, Brivio who are both younger than him and higher rated so we will allow him to leave as well that will give us a bit more cash in terms of players coming in, I have two centre backs that I've uh, I've looked at. The first one is this uh, Donovan Daniels, and then there's Alex Winter from uh, Crystal Palace. Both of these guys are up for loan, and their contracts are up in six months. So I'm going to inquire about the pair of these. Hopefully, we may be able to pick them up on the cheap. If not, just loan them out. Um, Jorge Grant is a young guy who's um. He's overall is 60 due to hit 70. So we're going to look to potentially sign him up. Conor Mahoney is one who's meant to hit 74, 75 for Blackburn, so we're going to think about him. Ryan Seeger, a striker from Southampton, who I have uh, found by basically looking at loan listed players and trying to find them that's contracts are expiring, and I'm going to see if I can sign them. And there's Uche Ikpezu, who he's also on loan, his contract is up. We're going to see what we can uh, get these. Uh, Bought for. We don't have that much transfer funds available at present, so it is going to be a case of picking them up when we uh, sell players. But that's all we can really do right now. Um, so, yeah, it's, and now we've got this game coming up. Um, Aldred was moaning he wasn't playing, wasn't he? So, let's get him in. Um, let's get Velasco in as well. Hopefully, uh, is it Mingyoa? Um, Hatfield can play left mid. I'm sure he can. Let's have a look. Yes, Cam and left mid. So hopefully that's him. Yeah, Hatfield may stay. We've got three um, right mids is all I'm thinking. Of, so we may need to sell one of them at some point. But we've got this home game against Fleetwood who are in ninth. We can afford a draw, we just can't afford to get beat in this game. And we get a 3 0 win. Alusa with two, Vizcarondo with one. 
but hopefully our ah, transfer offer for Lidl. Interesting, 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 interesting. I'm going to stall on that one for the time being from Crew, because if he signs his contract, I won't be selling him. Um, Winter two hundred twenty thousand. Mahone no interest in selling. Seager eighty thousand. I don't think I've even got eighty thousand to. Okay, so right, three more offices. That Seager is one that's going to hopefully come in. Arskiata, yes, I accept that. Let you go. You know what? I'm just going to let little go. Sod it. Get the money in. Uh, winter. 130 for Devon Daniels, 35 for Jorge Grant, and 250 for oh Christ, we can get, we sell two, we sell can sell Bone and maybe Rehat as well. We sell Fathy, we can definitely get Daniels, Grant, Winter, and Seager. There's four players in. Um, so yeah, so let's move forward. Let's get some transfer funds into the club. Uh, contract offer accepted from Buxton. Players sold, Lidl, Bauman, Kamalo and Buxton have all accepted their contracts. But more importantly, we have some money in. 180,000. Um, I'm going to move that over a bit and give myself 150. Because I'm going to go for... Um, uh, where was it? To Seager, 80,000. Get him, and he's on three grand a week. And the other one, who is fairly cheap, was Grant. He's on two grand a week. So I need 115,000 in transfer funds, and I need five grand in wages. 115. That leaves me three grand. As long as I can get Seager in, I can get one player in for now. But we do have a bid in. I'm sure we have another bid in for one of our players. Arasquiata, there we go. So, we're not doing too bad. It is game day against Mansfield. Uh, and Thule for Zogwe, Lutza for Payne, Viscarondo for Fathy, Smith back in, Mingio back in, Aldred for Dejue, Velasco for Milanov, Struna for Buxton, and Tuli on the off the bench, McCartan on the bench, three and eight, eleven, still have eleven, fantastic, Aldred, yep, yeah, I'm okay with that, yeah, we've still got eleven uh, reserves there. Um, all I'm thinking is the fact that Lidl was the guy that we sold who wasn't um, part of the uh, international break guy, so therefore I am just thinking if we get an international break coming up in this episode, we might struggle unless we have signed someone new. But Mansfield get beat 2-0, Azogwe and Kamalo with the goals. Kamalo celebrating his new contract with a goal. Velasco has signed his new contract. Reha, I'm selling you, mate, so don't worry about it. Player sold. Arasquiata has gone. Press conference. Accrington. Praise my team following this uh, game against um, Liverpool. So two players have sold. Um, Arasquiata, I think you were leaving on international duty. I'm going to clash you. So that's one in and one out of players that were leaving on international duty. Uh, one office, please be a transfer offer. You are for Jug. I don't want to sell you, so I'm going to reject. I could look at selling you for, say, a million and bringing in another keeper, but I'm happy with you. I do know there are a couple of keepers. There was the German keeper that we looked at. For. I think it was Almerovic we could have brought in. Forest have accepted the offer. Two grand, four year deal. Uh, you're going to be an important first team player. And. That's reminded me I'm going to need to move a little bit of this money over um, to wages. There we go. Um, no, I can't really bring... I, can't, I was going to say I'd, I'd make another offer, but I can't really... 
make any more offers until I sell more players. Southampton accepted the offer for Seager. Uh, give you 15% goal bonus, four year deal, and you're going to be an important first team player. I believe he's due to hit 70. I think he's due to hit the, the mid to high. Actually, no, sorry, mid to low, I thought it was in the 70s. Um, right, Zogwe, McCartan in, Bauman, Biriveo in, and Buxton for Struna, Fathy out, Galindo in, Payne out, Vizcarondo in, Alutza on the bench, Fathy off the bench, and Bejarano on it. So, and Thule is injured. Which is uh, an absolute ball ache, to be honest. But we're away against Liverpool. If we get spanked by three or less, I'll be happy. They beat Motherwell and Malmo in recent games and lost to Sporting. I wonder if that's the Europa League. 5.45 kickoff on the Saturday, so we're live on TV. You'd assume with that kickoff time. And we get a 2 1 defeat. You know what? I'm happy with that. McCartan with the goal. Henderson was sent off. So we had it level, and then seven minutes from time, Sturridge got the winner. You know what? Yeah, I'm happy with that result. Uh, Alutza, last match, you're going to say you're annoyed. Uh, let me get out there. Uh, you must have come on as a sub then, because you weren't in the starting 11. But right, got a week's break, so time to uh, to get through this. And hopefully, right, transfer offer for a faux bay. Season long loan, I don't care where you're going, I'm happy to let you go out on loan. Uh, Grant has accepted that contract, him in, and then if um, Seager accepts his contract, that'll leave us. Accrington get cut price Grant apparently, and Seager has accepted his contract, there we go. Right, leaves me with 78,000 in transfer budget. New signing arriving. So apparently, yeah. Seager, the answer to Accrington's prayers. Apparently. And Accrington bag a bargain, both with Seager's uh, one. Accrington get cut price grant. Interesting. So they're saying looks like we've made some uh, good acquisitions there, which is always, always promising. Transfer offer for Jug. I really don't want to sell you. You're probably screaming at me saying sell him for a million, but I don't want to. I want to keep him. Although he was part of the issue, so maybe, yeah, the more I think about it, the more I'll go back and have a look at goalkeepers and think about it that way. Jug, counter offer, one million. Then, then, there was. A couple of keepers, there was Ben Amos and there was, um, I think it was Al Merovic. Uh, transfers, search. Uh, transfer listed, goalkeepers. Ben Amos. He was one, and where are you? Where have you gone? There we go, Almerovic. Nice to scout. There we go. So there's the two. And we'll just have to see, hopefully, 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 it's which may come back and say no. But you never know what's going to happen. It's a, it's a funny old game, as everyone keeps on saying. Um, it's which town? 750,000. Nope, you can have it for one million. That will allow me funds to basically do what the the hell I like um, in terms of bringing players in, and in terms of um, letting players go. So. Uh, Oh, it's uh, Alamovic, A L O M. I'm, I'm interested. 
to see what they do, whether they come back and say yes or no to that offer. Um, I'm thinking out the two keepers, there's a good chance I may bring Ben Amos in out, out of the two. Um, I'm making no changes to that team, I'm going to stick with that team, it was a good enough team for the uh, Liverpool game. Um, I suppose 750,000, if they come back and offer me 900,000 I may take it, board will give me say 600,000 but then again, Almerovic or 4-0, um, holy shit, Kamala, Viscarondo and Brivio. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking a key, another keeper is on his way out, which I'm happy about. Final scout report on Alex Winter, 63, contract expiring, we know roughly what he goes for, I just hope we haven't left it too long in terms of bringing him into the club. Um, we need to get rid of a couple more players don't we, but Seager has come in and uh, Jug, player sold, Ray has gone to Stevenage, who is after Jug now? Birmingham, 1 million. And he's yours. And then, yeah, let's hopefully um, counter offer 1 million. And Doncaster want Jug as well. 1 million for you, Doncaster. You're not getting him on the cheap. And then, Ball will give me, say, 750,000, which will get us Ben Amos, say. Is Liverpool interested in Kadira? Two offices. Um, Birmingham City don't want to spend that much, so reject. Um, there was an offer for Boney, I thought. Boney, Leighton Orient. Accept that and get rid of him. We have Jug if we don't sell him. Uh, Leeds, you can pay a million. I'm sure you'll be happy to pay that. If not, he's not going. His morale is very good. His form is good. So yeah, so Boney's on his way out. So that will give us time then to sign Daniel. Hopefully I'm just going to try and get these. It's usually going to only pay 700. Leeds will only pay 500. Leeds, you can pay more than that. I'll tell you what, your Leeds, 900,000. I'll compromise. And I'll compromise with you nine hundred thousand. Um, yeah, player sold, bone or bone has gone. So now I'm going to bring in my two defenders. The next two to bring in, and uh, approach to buy. It said 130,000, so let's go with 130,000. Happy with that, three grand a year. And when Reha goes, we can hopefully bring in Alex Winter. We'll offer 150 Gs for him and see what they say. But yeah, not doing too badly in terms of uh, selling place. Tournament prize money, hello, this is going to help us out. Um, 57,000. So now we can look to bring in Winter. Winter, I'm fairly certain, can play anywhere across the back. Um, 220,000 is what they've said. Uh, I'll test your resolve with 150. And we'll just have to take it from now. I want at least one of these two in. Daniels is the preferred centre back. Winter is. His cover, he can play anywhere across the back, I'm fairly certain. And there was a counter offer from Donny, wasn't there? 825,000. Um, he's looking at these two, isn't he? Uh, six days and six days remaining for these two. Looking at these, it's going to be Amos is the one because he's got. Uh, he's got more greens in the goalkeeping stats. 
Ben Amos. Approach to buy. I'll say we cheek and say 250,000. Man United will probably come back and say no. If they say yes, then Jug is being sold straight away. Uh, I'll do that later. I'm not worried about my scouts right now. I just want them to concentrate on this. This is the. Uh, oh, shit. Bollocks. Did not need Daniels to be going to West Brom. Ipswich. Do not believe he's worth that much. Uh, 500,000. West Brom have rejected the offer. Leeds. Reject. 875,000. 825,000. You know what? I'm going to accept it. Might be making a mistake. Um, right after this Burton game, how long till our next game? Ooh, fortunate a week, so I've got a week after this to bring in a keeper. Um, what did West Brom have to say? Uh, accepted an offer for another team, so that was for Daniels, wasn't it? Submit a new offer. Um, Let's go 250,000. If Bolton, what was it, put 300,000 in? Depends. They may accept that, they may not. Um, team looks good and it was a winning team. They won their last game. So I'm going to stick with it. Game against Burton. I'll uh, probably uh, let this game skip through the first few seconds and grab a quick drink. Hmm. Burton lost to Spurs 2 1. Must have been a cup game. They lose to us 2 0. Barman and McCartan with the goals. So now, potentially an interesting week coming up in terms of players leaving, players coming into the club. Um, Jugger's gone. Uh, too low for Ben Amos. Alex Winter 375,000. Uh, and Devon Jones, right, so first of all, need to get a keeper in. Ben Amos, submit a new offer. 350,000, and I've got a million to spend, so let's look to spend it. Crystal Palace, Alex Winter, 250,000. Um, Connor Mahoney was the other one I wanted to bring in. We may have to look for another central defender as well. Um, transfers. Uh, Connor Mahoney. Approach. Young star. I'm going to go 250,000. We'll see what they say. So we need to make sure we need to keep a load of wages available for... Um, um, ben Amos, because I think he's on seven grand a week. Four, come on, come on, come on. Crystal Palace have accepted that offer. Manu, oh, no. Ben Amos also in talks with Watford. Fuck off, oh, stop trying to steal my players. Submit a new offer. 400,000. Oh, this is going from bad to worse. Blackburn have rejected the offer for Conor Mahoney, right. I have no keeper now. I need to get a keeper in. PDQ. Um, Almerovic, let's look at you as a backup. Um, two days remaining on the scout report. He's... Almost as good, and he's a bit younger. Um, approach to buy. I'm just going to put in a 250,000 bid in. See what Dortmund say to that. And I'll do that later. Right, I need to go back to the office now because we had a transfer offer accepted for Alex Winter. 
four years, crucial. A sweeten the deal, give you 3,500 a week. See if we can get you in your overall 63, so you're going to be an improvement on who we have in at this moment in time. This is not looking good in terms of bringing players in. We have a bit of time, six offices. Winter, transfer offer accepted. Thank you, get you in. I thought I saw Man, Man, Man United. Uh, Bejarano can miss something, is accepted. Dortmund have rejected, too low, but I'm getting Ben Amos, he's the keeper I want. Eight grand, 20% clean sheet, crucial first team player. Blackburn have rejected. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Um, move a bit of money over. So, in fact, actually, I want to have a quick look and see how many players. Up to 29 players, so we're not doing too bad in terms of players, uh, in terms of squad size. And we've got rid of at least two players who are. Um, Ben Amos contract offer accepted. Yes, thank you, Ben Amos. 65 rated. And Almerovic, you're 64 rated. So, okay, either keeper that we brought in wasn't too bad. Um, and that leaves me with now uh, three grand a week and 230. No, 220,000. Um, if I wanted to bring that way down to cope with Mahoney's 1,500 a week, 300,000 we can offer. This guy gets to... Hmm, have I not accepted this? Not missed, unless this must have just come in. I'll go back and have a look. Or did I miss it? Um... I could have missed it. Unsuccessful negotiations. Here we go. Mahoney. Submit no offer. 300,000. Um, right, let's go to the office and see where this transfer offer was. Ah, there we go. For Tom Aldred. So let's get him in right. So that's going to leave me still with four centre backs, which is hopefully going to be enough. Winter shouldn't be leaving. Um, yeah, we may have to look actually at another centre back. We've got time. You can leave Baggy. Abdullah Baggy is free to leave Tranmere Rovers and join a, a new club. Okay. A transfer offer. I'll tell you an offer. Tom Aldred has gone. So we've got Sega in. We've got Grant in, we've got Winter in. Daniels, I think, has gone elsewhere, hasn't he? He's not there anymore. Um, removed from the shortlist. Uche, they said, was 250,000. He's due to hit the 70s, I think, so we could look to ring him in. So is Mahoney, and he's, he's, there we go. Left mid, he can play as well, so it'd help us out in that role. Um, I'll go to 350,000. Going to, it could go up to a million at some point, they're saying. Um, down, back down to 29 players. Um, okay. Winter was the one I was hoping to bring in, I'm glad we did. Um, yeah guys I'll leave it there and I'll be back with you in the next episode where I'll get the, the uh, final day of the January transfer winner done I just want to have a quick look and see whether I'm confident and comfortable with the uh, the squad size I think we've got enough to at least bring in one more player um, just having a look at the cell players we've got potentially the choice to I think bringing in a defender would help out um, so that may, may be where I, I look to go just having a quick look. Um, we've still got the uh, four centre backs Kamalo and uh, Winter can play left back as well. 
and then maybe I look to bring in another centre back. It could be, it could be an option. See who's available on the older loan list with uh, the potential to uh, to bring in. But guys, I'll call it a day there, and I'll be back in the next episode. This one's coming on Tuesday. Next one will be on Thursday. But thanks for watching. Cheers.